Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your certified scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my weekly What I Have Been Warming video, and we are getting into all sorts of good things at this point. It's the end of August. I've been dabbling in a lot of things that I would consider to be early fall, really no pumpkin here on the table, but lots of apple, some spice, some bakery, a little bit of fresh just to kind of throw it in. And I am having a really, really good time <coughs> melting everything and I'm really enjoying this turn of the season. So first off, I have what was probably the most successful mix of the last week or so. And I don't do a ton of mixing, but Johnny Appleseed with the new September scent, which will be available September 1st, Gimme Candy, is amazing, you guys. This is such a nice combination. So it is one cube to one cube and a warmer, which I don't typically do. And this Gimme Candy is just like honey and buttercream and vanilla. It's not an extremely strong scent. It's not an extremely distinctive scent. It's an excellent mixer. And it's just good as something sort of soft in the house where you want a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of bakery without it hitting you over the head. So this one mixed with Johnny Appleseed made the perfect late August, like bakery-ish scent, but it doesn't have the decadence of caramel apple craze. And it is just pitch perfect for this time of the year. So I put that all over the house and I loved it. And then I put a couple cubes of salted caramel toffee in my warmers in the kitchen. And this was complimentary to that because the salted caramel toffee is a little bit lighter than some of the other toffee scents that I have. For instance, your toffee butter crunch, which is heavier, gooier, uh, more decadent. So these were exactly what I wanted this time of the year. We are waking up to like 60 degree temperatures here in Michigan with some coolness in the air. It can get really hot and steamy mid afternoon, but then it cools down again. So you're starting to sort of feel like melting fall isn't too much of a stretch. All right, another day though, I just wanted something really citrusy and light. So I actually started working on my brick of squeeze the day, just got out one brick cube, whacked that up into several sections and threw those in some of my warmers. And then to go with it, because I was just changing over my fall and winter wax stash, I still have a few cubes of an old bar called spiced grapefruit, which you could do this at Christmas, you could do it in the fall. But to go with all of the wonderful <clears throat> squeeze the day, it was just nice to kind of add another layer of citrus and just a little bit of spice. And I put just a couple cubes in other warmers to keep it more on the summery side of rise and sunshine. So all of those work together to give you a really nice clean citrusy scent in the house with a little bit of spicy undertone. So it wasn't like melting sweet orange pomander, but it just gave you this nice, really good zesty, happy citrus scent in the home it was really good. So the Rise and Sunshine is the summeriest because it's got some cherry, it's got some ginger. The spiced grapefruit is more winter appropriate, but like I said, it just mixed well with the lemon. So that was another day. A day that was fantastic was all of my like cozy scents. So I have been doing more trying out of Velvet Moon. I am liking it very much as I'm melting this. And there is something in this that definitely shares some base notes with cashmere and corduroy. Cashmere and corduroy is much woodier, but I, oh, and then I was also using some satin sheets, but we'll finish talking about Velvet Moon first. So I put this in the bedroom and I put it in my dining room. And then I had cashmere and corduroy throughout most of the house. And I think it was just the kitchen. I did satin sheets. So all of them kind of give you that buttery, deep sort of body care sort of fragrancy vibe without it being on the sweet side because there's woodiness to all of them. Oh, satin sheets is so nice, but it is kind of on the strong side. So it's just vanilla and your sandalwood. And this they always have in the spring summer catalog. So I thought it was a nice bridge for this time of the year with a lot more cashmere and corduroy, which is more woodsy. It's definitely got bergamot and it feels like it's got some sandalwood. It might have a little bit of vanilla. It's a really deep, complex, gorgeous scent, this one. And they appeared, paired very, very well with Velvet Moon. So that was a day where I am definitely going to do this trio again in the house as it gets cooler. Really, really nice. All right, another day 
I wanted to do Autumn Hearth because I was just kind of getting a crazy for craving for apple and cinnamon, but I've already done some apple and cinnamon sticks a couple weeks ago and I'm gonna wait on that until it gets colder because it just wasn't really what I wanted. It just, I think I was melting it too early in the year. But we had some apple and oats from the flash sale over the summer in a bundle. This was good. There is a funky musky note in this for apple. I know that sounds funny, but there's this funny, it's like an oatmeal funk where I don't mind it. My younger daughter really, really loves it. So I'll just give her the rest of this bar because as I melted this, it was just kind of okay for me, but I loved one of her other favorites, which has grown on me a lot, which is Autumn Hearth. So I had that out here. I had that in the kitchen. I had some of that in the Florida room sprinkled in with the apple and oats. Oh my gosh. This bar doesn't smell that great when you just open the clamp. It's got another one of those weird off notes, but for me at least, this one burns off and then gets smooth. And so I really, really enjoy it. And it's like this very comforting, almost kind of smoky tonka bean and apple and cinnamon scent. It's very, very good. And then because it would pair so well, there were a couple of cubes of apple s'mores floating around in one of the rooms also. And apple s'mores is really, if you're going to pick a month, I think it's a September bar, but I melted August and September. So it's got cedar, it's got coconut milk, it's got apples, it's got graham crackers. It's weird, but it gives you this nice, like sweet, smoky, split personality scent in your rooms. And this time of the year, it's like perfect. So it's a really interesting bar. It's a bring back my bar. We haven't had it in a while. So I'm down to my last couple uh, bars or even like half bars at this point. You know, it's one that I would get another bar or two of, but I probably would never like keep it, keep it in my club. Okay, another day I wanted to do like that classic toasted marshmallow and around the campfire pairing. I think that was yesterday. So I had both of these melting throughout the house. I have to say, sometimes my toasted marshmallow bars are great and sometimes they're a little weak because I just get them in my club now. This one wasn't the greatest performer. I don't know if I'd held on to it too long. It just didn't hold up to around the campfire. Usually it does. So Around the Campfire kind of took over, which is fine because it's a gorgeous bar. So it was just like this nice, it's almost incensey a little bit with all of the sap and the wood smoke and just the woodiness. It's a beautiful bar. And this was very, very nice. It's just the distinctive marshmallow note that I remember being able to smell when I pair these or when I mix them because I did some of both. I really couldn't smell it. And then I threw in just a couple cubes of churro churro in the kitchen, which again was maybe not the best idea because it got bullied by around the campfire. I should have known better. But when you separate this all by itself, it's just this beautiful light cinnamon sugar vanilla um, baked good scent that you kind of have to protect it because it can very easily get steamrollered and that's what happened. So anyway, <laughs> all right, another day though, I decided to really concentrate on one of our new releases and that was Cranapple Crumble. As the temperature is dropping, I'm really liking this. So I think it went up from like a seven to an eight, sliding up to like an eight to a nine for me. I am liking it better and better because some bars are just more able to be appreciated in a different type of weather. If it's really, really hot outside and there isn't that nice heavy dampness in the air, something like this is just not as appealing. So yesterday or two days ago, it was, yeah, I think it was two days ago, this was perfect and I loved it. Oh, so whatever the mix of notes that's in this thing, it's so strange because you get the whipped cream, you get like a brown sugar, you almost get like an allspice, you get a little bit of cranberry and a little bit of apple. And it makes this not very distinct, but very cuddly homey scent. And there's the heaviness to it, which is why I think that the cooler weather is helping where it's just really comforting and I am really enjoying it. So that's Grand Apple Crumble. Like I said, I think it split up to almost like between an eight and a nine for me. It's not a 10 like around, um, no, like apple butter frosting is or almond croissant, but it's really good and I'm liking it better and better. All right, and on the same day, I was doing some apple butter frosting, I think in the back room. Oh man, these two were so nice together. Because the apple butter frosting, the thing about this is it's got brightness from the spice, which is what the cran apple crumble doesn't have. The cran apple crumble has like sweetness and depth. I love that burst of spices. It's not spicy, but it's just that little like 
almost like when you squeeze lemon juice on a salad and it brightens it up. This has a brightness to it that is just so good. So those guys were good together and I've been throwing in the last couple cubes of baked apple pie here and there with several of these different melts that I've been doing just to kind of use up this bar. I need to get a fresh bar of this one. And the baked apple pie is just a good team player. You can just do that in all your warmers, especially on a rainy day. And it's just this beautiful, really good balance of apple and spice and warmth. The difference between say this and apple butter frosting is that your baked apple pie has that gooey bubbly quality where the uh, apple butter frosting is more like sweet and sticky. So this is so, so good. All right, now there was one evening where I had kind of let all the wax in the house kind of run down and I needed something just in one place to kind of perk me up before bed. So I threw in several cubes of Relax, which is amazing. This is like vanilla sugar and it was maybe sandalwood. It was in the spring release of all the vitamin bars as an LTO. And I know some people, they didn't figure out early enough just how good this was and they missed out on clubbing it. This is excellent, especially if you love cashmere and corduroy. If you can ever snag a bar of this in the future or you know somebody that has a club and you can beg one off of them. Such a lovely scent. Probably definitely going to make my top 10 for 2022 as far as new bars. Amazing. All right, next we have what I'm doing today and I'm really, really liking this. So <laughs> more baked apple pie, just as a one to fill in basically my mini warmers. Cause kind of what I do guys is I have a mini warmer and a full size warmer in most of my rooms. In this particular room right now, I've got a warmer here and I have a warmer on the mantle and I have a mini warmer because I was finding that even though I love the new Aziza, it's a good performer, but it doesn't throw as well as some. And maybe it's just where I've got it, but I think it's the shape of the dish. So I put my Salerno up on top of the mantle so I could kind of amp up, plus I wanted the light, amp up more volume of cubes out here in the front room. So my main scents are Dancing Sugar Plums, which is in the dining room, some kitchen and the Florida room today. And then because blackberry spice is very strong, that's out here in this front room. And then my mini warmers all have the baked apple pie. So this giving you this wonderful like berry and spice. And then the plum from the Dancing Sugar Plums kind of drops it down a bit. It's so good. So Dancing Sugar Plums, even though it has this Christmassy name, to me, this is not a Christmassy bar at all. It is a very homey bar that you can melt anytime between like September and February. It's got apple, it's got plum, and it's got spice. So it's sort of like the, uh, not, not the rock star, but maybe the backup singer kind of a bar, because the one that would be the front man for me is definitely Blackberry Spice. But the Blackberry Spice is so strong that I just wanted that in the one room so I could enjoy it. It's so saturated and this is amazing and you guys have got to try it if you like cedar and spice and blackberry at all. And it's not like hot spicy like some of the more cinnamon forward scents. It's just good and it's saturated and it's deep and it's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. I like it. I'm getting another bar. Oh, we got four cubes left. What am I going to do? So that with the dancing sugar plums, which is a little smoother and a little bit lighter. So good. And then the baked apple pie to just amp up the spiciness. I think I'm saying this basically twice, but I'm really enjoying the melt right now. So then I have some bars that I was getting through and my daughter was getting through in our bedrooms. So my younger daughter just melts whatever she wants in there because it's sort of like her own little zone. Sometimes I go in her tiny room and she's got her mini warmer and her full size. And I'm like, honey, you gotta, you gotta open a window or something, but she's happy. So she did in an entire bar of thunderstorm, which unfortunately I never got to smell the whole time because I had been sick. While she was melting this over the last month or so, I got sick early August and then it took me two to three weeks to really fully recover my scent and I had been going to bed so early. She had been doing this in her room. I never once got a chance to even sniff it. So all I can tell you about Thunderstorm is from my past experience, it was very sharp and fresh and a little bit much for me, but she loved it and had a really good time with it. So <clears throat> that was her experience with that. And I laughed because I'm like, I didn't even get to come in your room once to see whether or not my opinion had changed on that bar. We can't get another one, but anyway, so it goes. So after that, I think she had been doing some lemon coconut chiffon, which is so good. I had to skip my 
bi-monthly club because I don't like to get my quarterly and my bi-monthly in the same month. That's just an awful lot of wax, an awful lot of money all at the same time. So I'll get my next bi-monthly where I have two bars of lemon coconut chiffon in it in September. I'm actually really eagerly awaiting that because I've only got a couple cubes left of this and one other clam. So this bar, oh, it's so good. It's like lemon pound cake with just the tiniest hint of coconut. It is the nicest for me lemon bar since he's ever made. And I'm so glad that we had it in this summer's bring back my bar. This is a winner. So I know that she enjoyed this in her room. It's on the light to medium side and it doesn't last an incredibly long time, but it is so lovely when it's melting. All right, another one that she was doing and maybe even on the same day in those two different warmers is cutie pie cupcake, which would be totally complimentary to that lemon coconut chiffon. This one's a little bit more like citrus and icing heavy. So like this one, you think of like a chiffon bundt cake, which is exactly what it is. This you think of a nice, dense, really good, rich orange cupcake with a beautiful vanilla frosting. Absolutely lovely. They were both great. Those are a couple of her total favorites. And then she was doing some red, white, and berry pie, which was one of the scents for a scent of the month over the summer. This is really good. If you like apple cherry strudel, but you would like a similar type of a scent that's more really syrupy sweet candied cherry. This does smell like a cherry pie, but I think it's a little bit on like the sweet, almost like a Luden's cough drop side. I really like it. I still have a couple of bars, but I didn't club it because I don't like it as much as apple cherry strudel, which I think is just a little bit more authentic cherry. And then she was also doing some apple s'mores, which I've already talked about. It's just this really interesting, such an interesting scent. And it changes as you warm it. So at first you get a lot of the smokiness in the cedar and then you get more of the sweetness of the apples, the coconut milk and the marshmallow. It is quite an interesting bar. So then what I was doing as I was finally regaining my scent enough to really appreciate melting in my bedroom again, because I usually do softer scents in there, not always. <laughs> One of the ones that I decided to do was Vanilla Waves. And it was funny because during the day it was great, but I have my Desert Bloom warmer in my bedroom. So a lot of the time I forget to either turn off or take out the dish at night. I woke up in the middle of the night, the day that I had put this in. I don't know if the dogs needed me, I needed to use the restroom, whatever. And when I went back to bed, I'm like, oh man, that's a lot of vanilla. Cause you know, at night you close all your windows and your doors and things. So I think I popped it out, like took the dish out and stuck it <laughs> on the dresser because it was a little much. But anyway, Vanilla Waves is the most wonderful vanilla caramel sweetness. And it's good any time of the year. It's more summer appropriate, but it's a beautiful bar. And I actually do have this in my club now. I used to not like it. And then over this summer, I just fell in love. So and I don't know how much I'll melt this in the winter, but it might make a good mixer with certain things too. Then another day, and I have not melted this in personally, maybe two years, I wanted some sugar, which we only have a little bit of. I've got a few cubes left. Oh, is this nice. It was just like sweet. I think this was the same day that I was doing around the campfire and toasted marshmallow out here. And I've never done it because I don't have very much sugar left, but a lot of people say a cube of sugar and a cube of around the campfire makes a wonderful mix. So I put two cubes of sugar, sugar in my Desert Bloom warmer. And then I had that going in my room for a whole day. It was great. So it's like cotton candy and lemon drops. Mostly I just smell this nice, sweet, comforting scent. Now between this and Pink Haze, I have a couple full bars of Pink Haze because I like it just a little bit better, but this is amazing too. I would assume it'll come back in another bring back my bar, hopefully in the not too distant future, and I will get a few more bars of that. So then another one that was just, it's like the perfect bedroom scent because it is gentle, is Luna. And I don't melt Luna a ton, but just after sugar, I'm like, you know, I want another one of those like sweet, smooth scents. And Luna's more florally sweet, smooth, and just perfect for a bedroom. Didn't have to take it out of the warmer at night when I woke up at 3 a.m. because the dogs had to go potty. Thank God they don't do that that much anymore. Oh, um, this comforted me when I went back to bed because it was just enough scent to be nice even in the middle of the night. So it's like berries and jasmine and florals and sandalwood, not very much sandalwood, and it is just the most ethereal gorgeous scent. And then last but not least today, I wanted to give kind of a recap on the scent of the month for August. So that is Glacier Water. This is beautiful. And you know, when you get a new bar, you sort of melt it frantically trying to figure out what it's really like. 
And then sometimes you get a better read later when you're not quite, especially as a consultant who does videos, trying to figure out how do I put words around this new set so people can understand it. Oh, this is really good. So I love Harper's Edge. I love Atlantic Air. I love By the Sea. And I love French Lavender. And it's almost like you could take a drop of each of those, mix them all together, and you get this glacier water. It's really good. I may even consider putting this in my club. I don't know. Usually the scent of the month hangs around for a few months. I don't know if they specifically do six months or just until it sells out or six months if it doesn't sell out, but you can usually put these into your club several months after they've been released. It's really good and I do have a few bars left from my scent of the month kit. So if you like fresh, I would definitely pick a couple of those up and excuse my dog, Truth, leave it. Mom is doing videos, buddy, sit. Not that you know what that means, but anyway. So this video goes up on the last day of August and I want to remind you all that September 1st, tomorrow, our Harvest Collection launches. And Harvest Collection and Holiday Collection, because I'm an Eastern Standard Time Zone person, 3 a.m. is when we can make an order if you're worried about something selling out. So for me personally, I will be getting up early. I don't know if it'll be three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, somewhere in there. And I'm going to be placing my order because I'm concerned that the fall fairy tale, which is that gorgeous silver mercury glass pumpkin, is gonna sell out like that. So if any of you have your eye on something specific, if you're my customer or someone else's, please make sure that you get on the website as early as you possibly can. I know for other time zones, they can stay up till midnight. Some of them, it's more like one or two in the morning. So I guess three isn't that bad. But anyway, um, that is how that works. And you can contact me and we can discuss options on things if you wanted to open a party or do any of the rest of that sort of thing. September should be a blockbuster month because there are so many amazing things that will be available. And uh, us as consultants, I think we get to order our bricks in September. Hopefully we'll have them by the end of that month and then we can start mailing samples out to all of you and telling you stuff on the channels. And it's so much fun to be a Scentsy consultant. Thank you to everyone. And like I said, if you have your eye on anything specific for that Harvest Collection, get on early on September 1st because some things I'm betting that one warmer might sell out that first couple days. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.